great fan of you. Good morning. Welcome to EA Diddle Arena. The safety of our visitors is top priority. We ask that you take a moment to familiarize yourself with safety procedures and the unlikely event of an emergency. Should it become necessary to evacuate the arena, the person seated in the 200 section should proceed to the nearest upper concourse ramp to exit the building. Persons seated in the 100 section should proceed down to the main floor and exit the building. Once outside, go across the Avenue of Champions and gather in the open areas next to the Downing Student Union. Watch for emergency vehicles that may be responding to the arena. Remain outside until directed to return by the university officials or event staff. If a tornado warning is issued, proceed to the main hallways on either side of the first and second level. Gather in areas away from doors and windows. You may also utilize restroom and stairwells for shelter. Thank you for your attention. Please rise in honor of the Greenwood High School class of 2022 and the presentation of colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of our graduates, we request everyone please turn off their cell phones at this time. And please do not use air horns or do anything that will disturb the dignity of this event. Please remain standing for our national anthem. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. The wise honey loving bear, Winnie the Pooh, once said. How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. We all knew this day would come, but yet somehow it still feels so unreal. Our entire lives, we have been eagerly awaiting the next big milestone. When we were in sixth grade, we couldn't wait to be the cool kids in middle school. In middle school, many of us were trying to figure out who we were and could not wait to be in high school. And then, throughout high school, many people have been waiting to finish their final paper or exam and graduate. But now we're here in the moment, and it's time for our final goodbye. You are a part of this community. Our graduating class has created a community where it's valued to be involved in a variety of different activities. Whether you played a sport, were involved in the arts, or even just focused on your academics, your path was highly respected. Right now, I am looking at 270 unique individuals that have all contributed, not only to my high school experience, but also to that of so many other classmates. 
Whether we've wanted to or not, we have grown exponentially over these past four years. Our class has weathered through some of the toughest times, and yet we are still here finishing one of the most memorable chapters of our lives. Although we've lost a lot, we've also gained a lot. Through the hardships, we have been shaped into strong and successful individuals. We will continue to face challenges in our lives, but I have no doubt in my mind that if any group of seniors, it is us that is ready to tackle them. No matter what obstacles we face, it is important that we continue to strive to be the best versions of ourselves. Live with the intention of bettering yourself and in turn building up individuals and groups around you. We've lived in a world where the times, where the hardships that we've experienced have been polarized. And our society as a whole has been very divided. Our school community, however, has found a way to resist that division by celebrating each other's accomplishments, both big and small. Our graduating class has put on remarkable musicals, started a lacrosse team, brought one of the biggest delegations to Kentucky's Model State Government Conference, and won the Women's State Championship in soccer. Other clubs, such as FBLA, FFA, and academic team, have received numerous awards. Our success will not stop in high school. I know that each individual will go into the next chapter of their lives ready to thrive. So, we've done it. For some of us, it may be a relief. For others, it may be bittersweet. No matter what, a new chapter is unfolding as our diplomas will now open many doors of opportunity, whether it be going to college, continuing to technical school, taking up a trade, or pursuing a career. So, let us think of our graduation as an ongoing journey. Whatever path you choose, think of it not as a destination, but rather as a new beginning. We are a generation who can affect change, and it is my hope that as we leave Greenwood, we do so with the confidence that working together, as well as individually, we can positively impact the world. As it has been said, some people come into your life for a moment, a day, or a lifetime. It matters not the time they spent with you, but how they impacted your life in that time. Take these next few precious moments to scan the room and reflect on the memories that you have created with the other classmates, teachers, and mentors. Greenwood, class of 2022. We certainly are lucky to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you. Good morning, Superintendent Rob Clayton, board members, teachers, staff, parents, friends, and graduates. We welcome you to this special occasion. We are honored and pleased that you are here to help us celebrate the class of 2022 and the 32nd commencement ceremony. It is with great pride that we present to you 271 seniors representing the 2022 graduating class of Greenwood High School. We realize these graduates are happy and proud of their accomplishments, but we know the parents, grandparents, and guardians of these seniors are just as proud and thankful to see their child reach this milestone in their lives. Would the parents, guardians, and grandparents of the 2022 graduates please stand and be honored for the help support and dedication you have given these young men and women.
Thank you. I would like to introduce the platform guest at this time. Please stand when your name is called and please hold all the pause until all platform guests have been introduced. Board members, Mr. Kerry Young, Chairman, we would like to take a moment and recognize our Chairman of the Board, Mr. Kerry Young, for 16 years of dedication to the Warren County Public Schools. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Gary Chaffin, Vice Chairman, Ms. Amy Duvall, Board Member, Mr. Kevin Jackson, Board Member, and Mr. Lloyd Williford is not with us today, but he's also a board member. Central Office personnel, Mr. Rob Clayton, Superintendent of Warren County Schools. Mr. Jason Cupcella, Assistant Superintendent, Chief Operations Officer. Ms. Melissa Stefanski, Assistant Superintendent, Chief Academic Officer. Dr. Laura Hudson, Director of Instruction for Secondary Schools. Mr. Kyle Cassidy, Director of Principal Leadership. Greenwood High School Administrators, Mr. Dan Dillingham, Assistant Principal. Ms. Melinda Logic, Assistant Principal. Mr. Dell Wicks, Assistant Principal. Greenwood Feeder School Principals, Ms. Paulita Butts, Alberton Elementary. Mr. Scott Jones, Briarwood Elementary. Dr. Wes Cottingham, Cumberland Trace Elementary. Mr. Matt Thornhill, Natcher Elementary, and Mr. Darrell Woods, Drakes Creek Middle School. Thank you. The senior counselors who have worked directly with the senior class have been a major force behind the graduation process for the class of 2022. Ms. Casey Board, Ms. Leanne Freeman, and Ms. Candace Jaggers. There are individuals in the guidance office and administrative office who deserve recognition. Jenny Basham, Gretchen Bush, Kevin Clark, Nicole Clark, Melanie Crabtree, Donna Elliott, Jennifer Wallace, and Holly Whittinghill. Their dedication has enabled many activities at Greenwood High School to run smoothly. They are valuable members of the GHS team. Playing a large part of the lives of these graduates during the years at Greenwood High School have been teachers and staff of Greenwood. Would these individuals please stand to be recognized at this time? Thank you. In addition, we would like to recognize the Warren County Central Office staff who also play an important role in supporting our students. Would these individuals please stand and be recognized? At this time, we would like to recognize and welcome all former Greenwood graduates. Please stand. At this time, we would also like to recognize and welcome all who have served in the military and any students who are going to the military. Please stand. We would also like to recognize the GH choir, GHS choir members, Ms. Abigail Sells, GHS band members, Mr. Nick Collar, 
and GHS JROTC Color Guard, Senior Chief Philip Stagner and Chief Greg Blakeman for their roles in graduation ceremony. Please stand. class of 2022 will graduate 286 students today. Over 63% of these graduates have been awarded one or more scholarships. To date, the graduates of the class of 2022 have been awarded approximately $4.5 million in scholarship monies. If you are a scholarship recipient, please stand at this time. Thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize some of the accomplishments of this year's graduating class. I'll be calling several groups of students, so if you would, please hold your applause until all names have been called. The College Board recognizes the many high school students have, who have distinguished themselves academically by announcing AP Award recipients. A student can qualify for AP Scholar Award by completing three or more AP exams with a grade of three or higher. This class, we had five students that met this criteria. Please stand when your name is called. Abigail Butts, Olivia Lovell, Carson Miller, Tyler Porter, and Jenny Zing. A student can qualify for an AP Scholar with Honor Award by receiving an average score of at least a 3.25 on all AP exams taken, a score of three or higher on four or more of these exams. This class had 10 students that met that criteria. Please stand when your name is called. Sebastian Afayo, Samuel Blackburn, Devin Bray, Haley Daniel, Berenique DeMars, Hunter Durkee, Cameron Lynn, David Marquez, Brady Moore, and Samantha Sapp. Thank you. A student can qualify for an AP Scholar with Distinction Award by receiving at least a 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. This class had seven students to meet this criteria. Please stand when your name is called. Kaylee Brannon, Kaylee Cook, Hannah Greenway, Nora Lauder, Keaton Pointer, Nathan Quatch, and Landon Trin. Class of 2022 also had 10 students who were selected as Governor Scholars. These students were selected to participate in a five-week summer program and, uh, and identified as a top academic student in the state. Please stand when your name is called. Maddox Alexander, Kaylee Cook, Veronique DeMars, Mia Gonzalez, Hannah Greenway, Nora Lauder, Olivia Lovell, Brady Moore, Tyler Porter, and Nathan Quatch. <laughs> the 
Governor's School for the Arts is a highly competitive summer program that requires students to audition in the areas of architecture, creative writing, dance, drama, instrumental music, musical theater, new media, visual arts, and vocal music. This class had seven students who were selected to the Governor's School of Arts program. Bray Jacobs, drama. Nora Lauder, creative writing. Cameron Lynn, visual arts. David Marquez, visual arts. Bella Norman, instrumental music, woodwinds. Olivia Otto, musical theater. Ari Vermani Sarvastava, creative writing. Thank you. The Commonwealth Honors Academy is an exciting, challenging academic enrichment program for outstanding high school students who have completed their junior year. It has welcomed over 1,700 students to learn, live, and grow on Murray State's campus. This class had one student selected for the Commonwealth Honors Academy, Nora Lauder. The Carol Martin Gatton Academy of Mathematics and Sciences is a residential program for bright, highly motivated Kentucky high school students who have demonstrated interest in pursuing careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Housed on the campus of WKU, students take college classes, engage in faculty-led research, and have the ability to study abroad. The following students were selected and attended Gatton Academy. Bella Norman, Samira Salifu, Aribumani Sarvastava, and Kimberly Turner. The craft Academy is an excellence in science and mathematics and is a dual credit residential high school for academically exceptional Kentucky students. It is housed on the campus of Moorhead State University. A college level curriculum allows students to finish high school while also completing up to two years of university coursework. The following student was selected and attended the Craft Academy, Zoe Baker. Of the 1.5 million candidates, some 50,000 with the highest PSAT, MSSQT, selection index scores qualify for recognition in the National Merit Scholarship Program. In February, some 15,000 semifinalists were notified they had advanced to the final round. This class had four National Merit finalists, Veronique DeMars, Bella Norman, Samira Salifu, and Ari Sivastava. <laughs> While top priority is placed on academics at Greenwood High School, we also encourage students to become more involved in the school and community service projects. Greenwood High School has two clubs that students can be invited and inducted into, which focus on the principles of academic performance and service. The following students were invited and inducted into the Beta Club. These individuals had to maintain a minimum GPA of a 3.25 and serve at least 50 hours of community service. These individuals could never make a grade lower than a C. These individuals can be identified by the beta symbol they wear on their honor sash. Would all beta members please stand and be recognized at this time? <clears throat> the 
The next group of individuals to be recognized had to maintain a minimum of a 3.65 GPA and were, were required to serve at least 15 hours of community service to fulfill the National Honor Society obligations. NHS members can be identified by the yellow and blue cords they wear around their neck. Each one of these stellar students is committed to helping others through community service. Would NHS members please stand and be recognized at this time? Thank you. We would like to recognize the top academic seniors of the class of 2022. These seniors are ranked as of the very last day of school. These rankings are obtained by using the weighted grades received from various advanced placement classes offered at Greenwood High School. Would you please stand as your name is called and remain standing. Number 10 with a GPA of 4.241, Veronique DeMars. Number nine with a GPA of 4.243, Tyler Porter. Number eight with a GPA of 4.250, Devin Bray. Number seven with a GPA of 4.264, Hannah Greenway. Number six with a GPA of 4.324, Nathan Quatch. Number five with a GPA of 4.333, Kaylee Cook. Tied at number three with a GPA of 4.342, Landon Trent and Jenny Zing. <laughs> number two with a GPA of 4.388, Keaton Pointer. And number one with a GPA of 4.432, Nora Lauder. Thank you. We also use the regular grade point average system without using the weighted from the AP classes. This year we had 26 students who were tied with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Would these students please stand when your name is called? And we will applause after we recognize all students. Devin Bray, Kaylee Cook, Veronique DeMars, Kathy Duran Alvarado, Samuel Edelman, Julia Freeman, Brooke Gilbreth, Carson Hunt, Nora Lauder, Olivia Lovell, David Marquez, Brady Moore, Bella Norman, Caitlin Oliver, Olivia Otto, Tyler Porter, Keaton Pointer, Nathan Quatch, Samira Salifu, Ari Bramini Sarvastava, Mackenzie Thompson, Caden Trevor, Landon Trin, Jackson White, Jada K. Wilson, and Jenny Zing.
This year's class also had 139 students, or 49% of the senior class, that has been designated as honor graduates. These honor graduates have received an honor sash for their achievement. These students have obtained a GPA of 3.5 or higher during their four years of high school. Would all honor graduates please stand and be recognized for your hard work and dedication. Thank you. Just a note of accomplishment though, this year's class also had 216 or 76 percent of the students that have a GPA of a 3.0 or better. This is an outstanding group of students who have worked very hard to achieve this milestone. The following student will be entering the military after graduation. We are proud of her accomplishments and commitment to service. Callie Carroll, please stand. <laughs> Beginning their junior year, students at Greenwood High School have the opportunity to take several dual credit classes. These classes are offered through WKU, Sky CTC, Murray State, and Camelsville. Dual credit classes allow high school students to receive both school and college credit while attending Greenwood High School. Would all seniors who took dual credit classes please stand at this time? Thank you. Each year we are preparing our students to be career and college ready. Students can become career and college ready by meeting benchmarks on the ACT, EOP exam, taking and passing qualifying dual credit courses, or receiving other industry certifications. As of May 13th, 255 seniors are career and or college ready and are wearing a transition ready zipper pull. Would all seniors who have met this benchmark please stand at this time? Thank you. I want to start today by congratulating you. Today we are celebrating approximately the 2,275th day or days of school that you have spent from kindergarten until the completion of 12th grade. There's a lot of excitement as you look forward to your time away from Greenwood High School, and we hope that we have prepared you for your next chapter in life. Everyone has taken their own path. For some, that path has been smooth, and for others, it has been more challenging. But no matter the path that you've traveled, it has led you all to the same destination today. You have the right and you have earned the privilege of receiving your high school diploma from Greenwood High School. In just a few moments, when you walk across this floor, you'll receive your diploma that you've worked so hard for. I want you to know that I'm very proud of each and every one of you. And I know those assembled here today are proud of you too. As I previously stated, this is a special class for me. When all, when all of you started your freshman year, you didn't know what the future would hold, but your preservation and determination have been inspiring for all of us. You have navigated a pandemic during your high school career and you have done so with great determination. Additionally, this class is special to me because it's the first class that I've had all four years as your principal. Thank you for making it a great four years for me personally. 
While we're here to celebrate the graduates, I do want to take a minute and I want to thank the parents and guardians of this graduating class. Greenwood High School is blessed with a parent base that truly cares about the high school experience. Many of you would not be here today without a strong support system at home. Parents and guardians, thank you. We are all proud of the impact of the class of 2022 had on Greenwood High School. During your tenure at Greenwood, there have been numerous accomplishments and achievements. Greenwood has a rich tradition of excellence in academics, as well as extracurricular and co-curricular programs. Many of you have participated in clubs, athletic teams, band, music, and various programs. Many of you have taken advantage of these opportunities, and I know that they have been valuable learning experiences that have helped shape you into the person that you are today. As you move on with life after this ceremony, I hope you look back at your time at Greenwood High School and you feel a great sense of pride and accomplishment for all that you have done. I know that you appreciate the efforts of all your teachers, the staff, your parents, as I know they have given much effort to help you reach the goals of being here today. As you transition today from GHS seniors to GHS alumnus, I hope that Greenwood High School has prepared you to make whatever dreams you have come true. On behalf of everyone here today in support of you, I want you to know that we are very proud of you, that we love you, and we wish you the very best. So this will be the last time that you hear me say this. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Later, Gators. Senior, best of luck and God bless. Oh,
Would Mr. Clayton and the board members please stand and come forward? These members of the 2022 class of Greenwood High School have met all graduation requirements of Greenwood High School, the Warren County Board of Education, and the Kentucky State Department of Education. I take great pride in presenting them to you as they come forward to receive their diplomas. To up ensure the dignity of this monumental event in their lives, I ask that you politely hold your applause until each row returns to their seats after they receive their diplomas. Roll one, please stand and come forward. Madison Christine Ainsley. Faith Marie Walton. Janan Ahmed Altaba. Maddox Jackson Alexander. Sebastian Alfaya. Davron Aliv. Damari Jacqueline Perez. Savannah Carolyn Anderson. Joanna Andres Pasquale. Camilla Artiga Zamorone. Kara Grace Arnold. Emir Avdajic. Jaden Michael Baggett. Nathan Baggett. Alulani DeAngelin Bailey. Zoe Jolene Baker. Irvin Lloyd Trey Barmore. Elwin Delight Barnett. Solomon Chung Tha Boy. Connor William Bell. Row two, please stand and come forward. Landon Todd Bennett. Riley Jane Bennett. Taylor Marie Benson. Alexander Scott Bentley. Cole James Berger. Angelina Devine Bingham. William Joseph Bingham. Samuel Francis Blackburn. <laughs> Margaret Grace Blair. 
Hunter Alexander Bland. Caden Gage Blankenship. Megan Boone. Carrie Marie Bradshaw. Jalen May Brady. Kaylee Kate Brannon. Devin Marie Bray. Jalen Jalreth Brock. Bryson Davis Brockman. Aaron Brown. Chapel Ann Bryant. Row three, please stand and come forward. Jax Edward Buchanan. Lance Mitchell Burton. Abigail Elizabeth Butts. Thorin Everett Bird. Paris Morgan Carlson. Callie Elise Carroll. Bryson Hanner Chastain. Jacob Harrison Chavis. Lucas Michael Sisko. Kennedy Taylor Clark. Lily Rose Klein. Emma Caitlin Collier. Kaylee Marie Cook. Brianna Lee Creason. James David Crosland. Maria Catherine Crow. Lynn Chung. Ta Lynn Chung. Haley Elizabeth Daniel. Rosie Dalt Ten Rim. <laughs> Row four, please stand and come forward. Veronique Vivian DeMars. <laughs> Mong Sen Dim. Samuel Dwight Doris. Jacob Oren Dotson. Nevea Renea Douglas. Kathy Leslie Duran Alvarado. Hunter David Durkee.
Jonathan David Durier. Ryland Thomas Duval. Ty Brandon Dyer. Rhett Stefan Dyson. Jaron Tavis Lee Eccles. Kylie Dale Elsie. Nathaniel Thomas Faddick. Emma Catherine Farrell. Gulali Ruslalovich Vasilov. Jose Flores. Haley Marie Forshe. Julia Kirby Freeman. Row five, please stand and come forward. William Peyton Gaddis. N. Garcia. Jackson Kilgus Guard. Kyle Wesley Garrett. Ethan Joshua Gentry. Samantha Page Gentry. Presley Blake Gilbert. Brooke Michelle Gilbreth. Israel James Gingrich. Mia Gabrielle Gonzalez. Naraya Anasia Gooch. Megan Ray Gore. Joshua Alexander Gray. Hannah Grace Greenway. Ethan Michael Groff. Derek Michael Haney. Sean Michael Hammers. Taylor Nicole Haney. Emma Jo Hankins. Lucas Andrew Hardcastle. Row six, please stand and come forward. Emma Patterson Harmon. Hayden Samuel Harrell. Caitlin Brooke Hart. Landon Mark Haynes. 
Emmanuel Hernandez Espinoza. John Broderick Firstel Hewitt. Cameron Lee Hightower. Savannah Catherine Hill. Paige Olivia Hines. Ethan Andrew Hodges. Molly Kate Honecker. Josie Sue Huffman. Andrea Lorraine Hewley. Carson Martin Hunt. Matthew Hunter. Eric Giovanni Ishkatoyak. Zaid Mustafa Jabber. Haley Brooke Jackson. Bray Danielle Jacobs. Joseph Cadillac Jessup. Would row seven please stand and come forward. Maddie Lynn Johnson. Maya Denise Johnson. Maggie Lynn Jolly. Fossil Jamal Jones. Mallory Grace Jones. Reagan Elizabeth Jones. Noel Cousin. Cade Stone Kennedy. Justin Kerr. Carolyn Lauren Key. Jonathan Koo. Mary Rachel Clotter. Sophia Huddleston Kopensteiner. Griffin Charles Capcella. <laughs> Jax Wendell Lancaster. Lacey Lynn LaRocco. Nora Veronica Lauder. Chan Leon. Y. Leon. Cameron Tyler Lynn.
Woodrow 8, please stand and come forward. Emma Diane Lors. Jackson Stephen Long. Grace Madison Love. Olivia Lee Lovell. Nicholas Drake Lyons. Caden Ella Moretta Maddox. Bia Ma. Edward James Manasseh. Alea Renee Marsu, Tamaya Lyric Markel, David Angelos Seraphim Marquez, Tristan Lee Martin. Ira Christopher Lee Matheos. Robert Bishop Matthews. Alexis Medina. Bomay. Lou May. Name Ume Palme Row nine, please stand and come forward. Play May Michelle Cruz Mendoza. Lee Alexander Meredith. Carson Neil Miller. Hayden Daniel Miller. Chloe Bly Minnick. Jonathan Tyler Mitchell. Thomas Anthony Mitchell. Kalia Lynette Mobley. Brady Nicole Moore. Landon James Moore. Preston Lee Moore. Grayson Finn Morgan. Sean Christopher Morgan. Joslyn Nicole Morrison. Hen Moo.
Elnara Muradova. Dahlia Luthana. Audrey Lee Neely. Robert Ian Nelson. Would row 10 please stand and come forward. Bella Nicole Norman. Aiden Scott Nuss. Nieb Marie O'Keefe. <clears throat> Caitlin Nicole Oliver. Espor Onda. Olivia Ann Otto. Olivia Catherine Overmall. Juliana Bell Paisley. Rachel Nicole Palmer. Heli Patel. Brenda Pena. Madeline Isabella Perez. Diabie Tejan Pillow. Tiana Shadiman Poindexter. Tyler Keith Porter. Keaton Drew Poynier. Nathan Min Quach. Robert Joseph Rayhill. Lake Sterling Ratliff. Hunter Allen Raymer. Please stand and come forward. Mason Joseph Reardon. Bay Ray. K Ray. Ray Ray Re Ray Justin Lloyd Richmond Roman James Rios
Aiden Matthew Roberts. Mary Rodriguez Garcia. Xander Reed Rosado. Levi Tristan Raleigh. Sarah Michelle Rucker. Anna Jo Lynn Rush. Fikrat Razav. James Nathaniel Sockley. Samira Sadifu. Rolanda Ann Salvador. Malaya Deshay Sanders. Hong Song. Joseph Song. Row 12, please stand and come forward. Jorge Pablo Santa Maria. Valentina Saraya Santos Bernal. Samantha Ray Sapp. Camden William Schrader. Natalie Michelle Scott. Holland Briar Scruggs. Destiny Charnay Sears. Sonia Simich. Tong Kim Singh. Matthew Landon Sledge. Tristan Alexander Small. Allison Claire Smith. James Robert Smith. Paul Bros Smith. Eri Vimani, Balin, Sarvastava. Reese De'Aaron Stafford. Cade William Stinnett. Michael Bracton Stinnett. Haley Justine Stowe. <laughs> Row 
Row 13, please stand and come forward. Alexis Cipriano Subaran Samosa. Seth Daniel Thomas. William Andrew Thomas. Mackenzie Renee Thompson. Mason Dale Thornhill. Kanan Parker Timberlake. Tia Elise Tinsley. Randell Mason Tomlinson. Lily Ashton Travis. Caden Marie Trevor. Landon Trin. Marquise Jamar Trussell. Kimberly Ann Turner. Jaden Nicole Marie Underwood. Kaylee Uni. Nathaniel Chase Upchurch. Eduardo Arvina. Mauricio Villavicencio Sanchez. Lily Vo. Sheila Lee Vo. Row 14, please stand and come forward. Isabella Antonia von Steinfurt. Keyshawn Rashad Wade. Dalton Lawrence Wagner. Tyrese Rondell Washington. Taylor Alexis Watkins. Austin Kenneth Watson. Jillian Gail Watson. Keaton Douglas Watt. Jackson Daniel White.
Caden James Whittle. Maya Lee Wilkerson. Mason Andrew Williams. Richard James Williams. Jada K. Grace Wilson. Chloe Grace Wright. Jenny Zhang. Good morning. Let's take a minute and just look around at all your fellow graduates. While graduation is a time of celebration, it's also a great time for reflection. To look back on everything, every up and every down, every moment that has brought us here today. Together, we have been on the right of our lives, so let's take a quick trip down memory lane. For many of us, our great road trip together started in one of four elementary schools. The foundations of our education were started with reading groups, math activities, social studies projects, and science experiments. But let's not forget our favorite elementary school memories, the book fairs, fall festivals, and of course, recess. These early memories showed us how to study hard, but also to have fun and enjoy ourselves while meeting new people and finding shared interests. Through this time, we started to figure out who we are, our dreams, and our goals. Middle school was the next stop on our road trip. For many, this was the first time we were together in a new building with new teachers and with new classmates. This is when we really became the class of 2022. Now we knew what it was like to be a Gator. Classes got a little harder, we had more studying and more writing, but we also had more options and choices. We began to grow up, be together, and had lots of fun at pep rallies, crazy water balloon fights on field day, and extracurricular activities beyond what we had ever imagined. Our last stop together has been at Greenwood High School. We learned new facets of ourselves and who we wanted to become. We discovered we could achieve things we didn't know we were capable of. We are part of a class that includes state champions in sports and clubs, perfect test scores, and many other accolades. We also learn to always be good to ourselves and be good to others. We can do anything we put our mind to, whether it's in the classroom, in a club, on the field, or on a court. Some of my favorite memories are our sports games, our bonfires, some great field trips, and our school dances. At Greenwood, we began to put our hard work into motion, making those next steps in life a reality. Our road trip was not always smooth during this journey. A global pandemic that changed our daily routine and perspective on life, natural disasters that devastated some in our community, and losses that made us realize that pain is a part of our lives. We overcame these obstacles and became stronger, both together and individually. Throughout our journey, we were constantly surrounded by our greatest supporters, teachers, administrators, parents, families, and each other. I can't thank you enough to each person in this room or watching the live stream who added to my journey. And that leads us all the way up 
to this moment. We have all supported and cheered for each other. We have been through every high and every low together, but this is where we go out on our own journey. From here on, we must take our own course, our own route. The good news for each of us is that we are not traveling blindly. We can always reflect and draw from the foundational principles that were instilled in us during this journey. While we're moving on to do great and oftentimes uncertain things, we must remember the road behind us, all of the people and events that have taught us lessons and prepared us for today and tomorrow. Now go and pave your own future. Would the graduating class of 2022 please stand? Graduates, please move your tassel to the left. I proudly present to you the Greenwood High School Class of 2022.